All right, guys, so we still have Fousey Tube wilding out, man. Uh, he's a nutcase, man. He's out there in uh, Australia. And, you know, he has that situation that happened between him and Sneeko where they kind of fell apart. Now, Myron being the guy that he is, is trying to reconcile everything between Fousey Tube and Sneeko. So he jumps on uh, Fousey Tube's X space. And let's let's get into what he had to say. Fuzu Tube was not having it. Redan, I invited a friend of mine. I wanna see if he's gonna try to gaslight me and call me crazy, or if he's gonna try to understand my vision. That will depend on if I block him or not. Myron, you are now invited to speak. <sighs> Big Myron. The G1 pill. Yo, what's up, bro? How are you? What's up, brother? Good, man. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm blessed. Too blessed to be stressed. God put us on this earth to make money and help people not to be stressed. Yeah, I just want to pop in, bro, and say that, uh, you know, I wish the best for you, bro. You know, obviously, people are going to talk shit and, you know, come after you and everything else like that. But, uh, you know, I mean, every time I've spoken with you, you've been extremely pleasant with me. You're very, you know, you've been great to me, so I have nothing bad to say. So, you know, I just wish you the best, bro. I want to come in here and show some love. God, may God bless you and shower with you with eternal blessings, my brother, because nobody has given me a chance. No friend has given a chance. Let's talk about Sneeko before he even texted me. So, I mean, look, it seemed like Myron was coming in there to, you know, to just kind of show Fuji some love. He's a talented guy, guys. He's entertaining. He brings the views in. You know, he gets people watching. And then all of a sudden, Fuji just went left field with it, man. Let's let's take a look at what what he had to say, man. To ask me if anything is real, he goes on his stream to publicly shame me and say he shouldn't shame and pretend to be suicidal for views. Nigga, I tried to suicide this year. You know that, you dumb fuck. Why the fuck would I be faking it? Well, you know, we can have a conversation behind the scenes, me, you, and Sneeko, and kind of, you know, fix this. I don't no, think... I will never talk to that peasant in my life. I'll piss on his grave. Well, give us some time, man. Give us some time. I know you're probably pissed off about it right now, but just give us some time, and we'll work something out behind the scenes. I'll piss on his grave, play Drake, Family Matters, and then shit on it. He's out of my life forever. He showed me his true colors. I already knew his true colors, considering the fact I watched him use my religion to make himself famous. See, I hate when people go after Sneeko over using uh, Islam to, to make himself go famous, like, which is, I don't think is, is a, a real, I mean, you can make the case for Andrew Tate, but Sneeko puts in effort to, you know, learn about the religion. He's very knowledgeable about it. He's visited, you know, Saudi Arabia and all these other places. And um, I think that's complete BS. It's a, it's a complete BS allegation. Well, look, man, what, what's going on between you and Sneeko? It's not good. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to. It's not just Sneeko. It's not just Sneeko. My mom, my dad, my brother, my sister all cut me off today. Well, I'll tell you what, bro. Um, me and you could definitely have a have a talk, bro. Uh, definitely, you know, I think a, a phone call behind the scenes would be great. I'd be happy to talk with you about what's going on. But we go from there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You're... You're the you know, dude's out of his mind, man. 